1653, in the Netherlands, a wealthy lawyer, financier and mathematician named Jan de Witt took over as the great chief executive in the province. Jan de Witt was a very prominent figure. He defended the country's independence during two wars with England, concluded several lucrative peace treaties, improved the financial affairs of the state, in general, he made Holland great again. And the Dutch liked him so much that they re-elected him to the post of the great pensioner for twenty years in a row. But one day everything went awry. In 1672, King Louis XIV of France took and invaded the United Provinces, and in alliance with England. A decadent mood was brewing in society. 1672 was called the year of disasters. The people who had previously supported De Witt now began to blame him for all their troubles. Brother Yang was jailed and tortured on trumped-up conspiracy charges. But this was not enough for the Dutch. On the 20th of August, Jan De Witt went to the Hague prison to say goodbye to his brother before exile. A drunken crowd surrounded him and the beating began. Cornelius was dragged out of the cell and began to beat him along with his brother. Both were simply torn to pieces. Then they cut off pieces from the bodies of the brothers, roasted them on a fire, and eaten them. The half-eaten bodies were left hanging upside down until they were gnawed down to the skeletons of a bird. So much for the people's love.